So, I have my fantasy suite card here. <laughs> I'm gonna blush. Look at that thing. That's beautiful. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Cameron. I'm about to take you on some of my favorite places to eat in the city. So this is my own food tour with y'all. Let's go. All right, so we're here at Thompson Square Park. This is a place where we take a lot of our kids with ABC food tours. I had one of my favorite moments all the time here with one of our kids. We were sitting here watching the guy skateboard and uh, eating Village Square Pizza, and he looks up to me and goes, this is the best day I've ever had in my life. What we do here with these kids is so much fun. It provides such an experience for them and for us as well. We learn so much from them. So I love doing it, love spending time with these kids, and this is right here where we do it all. So here we are at my breakfast spot, Thompson Square Bagels. Come on and check it out. All right, can I get an everything bagel, half scooped with butter, and bacon, egg, and cheese, please. A mustard on the side. So I had my family in town uh, this past weekend. On Saturday, we all came in here. We had probably about 10 of us sitting on that table. And uh, I had my first lox bagel. Did the pastrami lox to lox. It was incredible. Today, I'm sticking with my original order, bacon, egg, and cheese, half scoop, butter, you know, everything bagel. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Cheese and joy. Appreciate you. All right. And so, always got to have a breakfast bagel with a side of mustard. Uh, my pops put me on that, and ever since I started doing it, I cannot, I cannot eat it without a mustard now. So, mustard on your breakfast sandwich is the way to go, I promise. So, I first heard about this place through my roommate, Matt James. He put me on here when we first started ABC Food Tours. It's one of his favorite spots when I came to the city. So we started here for breakfast. Hit like 10 other spots that day. And this place has always stuck with me. So I'm a big fan of Thompson Square Bagels and I always come here now. So we got our breakfast in, we got our workout in, had to clean up, shower up, change, and uh, now it's time to go to my favorite lunch spot, Flip Siggy. See my boy Jordan Andino, the chef there. Love him, love his food. I'm very excited for this. So here we are, we're at Flip Siggy. This is uh, one of my favorite spots in the city. It's my Monday spot, because it's buy one, get one burrito. Jordan's a great friend of mine, he's an amazing chef, so uh, I love to come here every Monday and cause some chaos. So when I come here, I always gotta get the Cali burrito. That's my go-to every single time. I like to get the pork buns, what are they called? They're called the nice buns. The nice buns, all right. Today, I am going to do the Cali burrito with the side of fries. The side of fries, you got it, buddy. All right, my guy, Yo, Jordan. What up? It's good, brother. What's up, baby? What's happening? Not much. Uh, I had to show him one of my favorite spots in the city. Yeah. yeah. So this is Jordan. This is my guy. Uh, what up? Great friend, even better chef. Huge fan of his restaurant here, so I had to showcase it. Love this place. Thanks for coming by, man. We just ran the marathon together. <laughs> I mean, he he passed me. He passed me at 23, 24. It was but bad. He blew by me. And then I pass him, and then he blew by me again, and then I pass him. This guy ran the craziest race I've ever seen. Are you gonna do it next year? Yeah. You're gonna do it with me again, right? All right. Okay. All right. Oh, no. Okay, it's yeah. On it's, it's on, on record. record. I literally told Jess, I was like, I'm never doing that again. Well, you hungry? Yeah, so I'm, get, I'm getting the Cali burrito. I always get it. Okay, you have to. Mm -hmm. Do a fried chicken sandwich. Bang it. Okay. okay. Look, get that. Should I'll, we get I'll, that? I'll eat that. All right. You, you try, you try I'll try it. it. Awesome. Anything to drink? Uh, cool. Should we do a beer? Let's do a beer. Let's do a beer. Let's go. Thank you. Look at that thing. That's beautiful. Big fan of the red sauce here. It gives a little bit of kick. It's got a little vinegary bite to it. A nice touch of the Cali burrito. Lay it on there thick. Can't beat it. Best burrito in the city. All right, so it's dinner time. We're going to Bob White's. Uh, Bob White's is Southern Comfort Food. Me being from the South, love me some good Southern Comfort Food. Great date spot. They're always bumping some good R&B. So many great options down here in the Lower East Side, East Village area, so you can't go wrong eating out down here. The timing is great. The marathon just happened, so this is my cheat day. One of you guys have to come have dinner with me. I can't eat alone. Uh, eating Erica, all right. <laughs> I've been having a hard time doing a date lately, so. I got you, Erica. Hi. 
How's or, it going? What, have you ever been here before? I have not. What's good? You like fried southern food? You do? I do. Oh, this is spot. It. All right. Perfect. Are you from the south? From Delaware. Nah, that's not the south. <laughs> but we gotta get you all some southern food. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm getting the buffalo chicken sandwich. That sounds right. really good. I'm gonna do the fried chicken. All right. Let's, Let's roll. Fried chicken. There we go. Dive on in. <laughs> I'm drinking wine and drinking sweet tea. This is great. I want wine. You want wine? Can I get we wine? switch. We can switch. Now it's a date. Okay, now we got cheers. Now we cheers. There we go. That's I finally got a date in New York City other than <laughs> Matt and my dad. This is a new first for me. I love it. <laughs> so, how does New York food measure up to food in the South? So, New York food is phenomenal. Can't argue that. But Obviously. there's some spots like like barbecue, the best barbecue I ever had is in Austin, Texas. Really? Cooper's. Yeah. yeah, that's the best. Beef rib, amazing. But I will say, Red Hook in Brooklyn, a uh, place called Hometown Barbecue. I've been there. You've been to Hometown. It's so good. Okay, let's go. It's so good. Yes. Their beef rib is comparable. It's very yeah. good. When it comes to fried chicken, I have a place at home that's literally across the street from my house. And like, whenever mom that's didn't make dinner, nice. we would walk across the street and go eat dinner there. And they had these things called zingers, which is like fried chicken. Unreal, my mouth's salivating talking about it. I'm gonna start drooling. <laughs> <laughs> Overall though, New York's got the best food. Do you have a favorite pizza place here? Favorite pizza place here? It's very controversial. It is, it is. Like people will definitely get after you if you yeah, don't have the right. Like, if you don't say Joe's, like people lose it. Yeah. You know? uh, I like Bleecker, I like Joe's, Prince Street Pizza, Grandma style, so very good. good. So I can go on and on. So pizza, <laughs> They're all really good. No. What about, do you have a cookie spot? I'm a big cookie, a cookie guy. cookie spot? You know, I don't actually. No? And now I'm realizing I'm like lacking on the cookie level in my in my diet. We gotta get you the Levain. Wait, no, I've had those. Oh, you've had they gave, somebody had them at the office. Yeah. Those are the ones that are like you yeah, peel them apart and they're really just like gooey yeah. and delicious. Can we get cookies? Should we go on a cookie day after this? Cookies? We're taking this day to the next level for cookies. <laughs> after burritos, fried chicken, and <laughs> breakfast bagels. Do you wanna go spit the fantasy shoes? Absolutely. <laughs> Dessert before dinner. No, yep. it's like number one. Don't eat on a date, especially a first date. Let's dive on right, right there. All right. There you go. All right. So you see my breakfast, you see my lunch, you see my dinner. Now it's time for me and her to have a private date. So you cameras need to get out of here so we can enjoy ourselves. 